in the digital realm where a single tweet can make a mean and a bad joke can launch a thousand snickers. Imagine the collective shock when the Emoji Movie managed to top Netflix's charts despite its notorious reputation. Behold, the tale of the unlikely comeback that illustrates animation's strength even against its most glaring flux. Were audiences just searching for a distraction during quarantine, or does the simplicity of emoji-filled adventures hold a strange appeal? Could it be that, in a world obsessed with wind and quick fixes, nostalgia is bought with jumbo-sized packets of emoji love? But beneath the superficial charm, the emoji movie is a cautionary tale of cinematic shortcuts. As a critic, I've witnessed firsthand the rise of animation driven by imaginative storytelling and heartfelt characters. But the Emoji Movie serves as a glaring exception, embraced with a mixture of curiosity and disbelief. How did a seemingly shallow concept, complete with emojis high-fiving each other in corporate product placement for days, manage to capture the hearts of viewers? And inside the digital universe of the film, Gene's quest for self-acceptance echoes with an alarming lack of depth. The movie's attempt at profundity comes off as insincere, as a spoon. It's spoon-feeding lessons to a generation that can parse emojis with more subtlety than that. And yet, it plays like a catchy jingle to sun. Proving that formulas can more stop than work, can sell over some nights. It's saying it's something that ends up that... Uh, but let's not burst the bubble entirely. The rise of the Emoji Movie on Netflix, this testament to the enduring popularity of children's entertainment, it's a reminder that despite critics bashing it, there's a hunger for accessible stories that can provide a momentarily sweet escape. And who are we to deny children a well-meaning laugh or two? So this leads us to a friendly request. If you're a subscriber to our channel, hit that like button for more insights like this. After all, there's a difference between acknowledging a quirky hit and supporting quality content. As for the Emoji Movie, with its messy plot and shallow storyline, it's best left in the world of smiley face derivatives. In the end, only Gru's minions and genie pets, like Dora the Explorer and Elsa, can save animation from sliding into mediocrity. And with that said, thanks for watching, and until next time, let's celebrate the power of storytelling that transcends even the most unlikely successes. After all, sometimes all a cross film needs is a high five from Muslim.